Well, it only took me three goddamn years, but damn dude industries is back with another banger. I'm gonna be showing you damn dude studios, which is basically where I do my videos, my fan films, my gaming, my sleeping, my sexy time. So it's been a long time, and my room is definitely a lot different. If you look, if you go back in the description and watch, I'll put some screenshots or something. But it was. It was bare, it was empty, it was nasty, and I'm the type of person that I've always been like, you know what, when I want people to come over, I want a bunch of stuff that they can look at. I want like different gaming areas, you know, I've always, I've always that's always been the dream. And I, I'm a lot closer than I was back then. And when you guys look at it now, you're gonna be like, damn, you spent a lot of money, <laughs> but... So I guess first I'll show you the front door. So um, if you've ever went trick or treating, obviously you've seen this witch on someone's door, window, something. And uh, last uh, this uh, last Halloween, I saw it and I was like, I've seen this thing since I was a kid. I have to have it. So I bought it and here it is. Uh, I wish it moved or something, but it doesn't. It's a really cheap thing. It was like I got it on sale for a dollar, literally. Uh, and then I got the danger jo because it's my name Joshua Joshua's gonna keep out I really want to get a neon sign right here or maybe a big one right here that says damn dude studios if I could get a neon sign because I looked it up that it's expensive but it's not out of my life you know I could afford it so like I'm really thinking about just getting a neon sign saying damn dude studio somewhere or damn dude industries I think that'd be freaking sick um, of course, we got the Chucky outfit. I, I have no idea where to put it because it's extra large. You know, my skinny ass can't. You know, so it's just hanging up there. Uh, here was the magnificent green screen, which I have not used enough and I really need to use more often. Uh, it looked a lot better back in 2018. It's when it's, you know, had some wear and tear. Uh, my green screen suit, which I have not used yet either. So, you know, it's, uh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, if you've watched Vengeance of Chucky, which, uh, is actually playing on my TV right now, because I've never seen Vengeance. Ooh, that's looking good on my 4K TV. That's looking good. <laughs> we got the Stalking Joshua, which, uh, I don't know why it's still here. I just kind of have it. Um, uh, we have a Captain Marvel poster. Because if you look, it, it, even, like, a, a lot of you, like, who are Vengeance fans... I'm gonna be so pissed when I record three and there's just all this shit on the walls but if you look back on episode one there was like nothing on the walls and there's no going back it's done like I can't I'm just gonna have to take the L with all the people like oh my god that doesn't like you know that wasn't there and that wasn't there and though and this is supposed to take place in one night but yeah there's the vengeance bat talking about vengeance is the, the the bat that uh you know Chucky hits me with and then I hit him and I should get sponsored by whatever company or whatever this is you know you know i'm really sure they would love to sponsor me because i've never actually said this so basically uh when my my grandma and my grandpa um built this house like this whole land was just nothing back in like what was that? i don't know the 40s 50s whatever and basically the house actually stopped right there but then when they had six kids they added this part on so like this was not here like before i was born and all that shit so like it's just kind of crazy that you know it, it's like it was made for me uh so we have a venom poster uh because i you know i saw this and i was like you know that's dope uh and then obviously the spider-man the spider this poster because it, it goes hand in hand and it just looks amazing and i love the movie uh avengers endgame which i found a few weeks ago and i was like you know what that would go there and then that's where that comes from so yeah that's and uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do here i'm, I'm still you know uh reorganizing all that uh so this is my couch this was also in the 2018 one uh, i do not have my other couch i had to throw that away for reasons i don't know if i'm gonna keep it like you know with all this stuff so we got squirtle which i've had for a few years i just found those the other day i don't know where i got those those are from uh, duck dynasty uh, my girlfriend got me, uh, I think I won that in a claw machine, or my girlfriend won it, or gave it to me, or whatever, so it's there. Uh, my Dragon Ball pit Pillow, which was Five Nights at Freddy's plushie, a donut, uh, my Vegeta, which I fa I just found this like a week ago, and I was so happy. And then my Texas Chainsaw, which I got from a loot crate, uh, really happy to have that too. I don't know if I'm going to keep these hats on, I have like a bunch of other ones, but I don't know if I'm just going to have the whole like thing of hats, I don't know, I just don't know where to put my hat, so I just put some of them here. So here's my Dragon Ball hat that I got on Wish a long ass time ago, like three years ago. Uh, my Primitive hat, which is the skating company, which they did Dragon Ball collab. Uh, Conor McGregor hat, which I got from someone in my family. A Fadango, which I went to the zoo uh, uh, with one of my co with my coworkers uh, like a few months after I started working there, about almost uh, damn near like nine, nine, ten months ago maybe. 
and um yeah i bought that because i was like you know what that is just be hilarious to wear have you just ever seen something you have no idea what the company is you just you just want it uh that's my nf hat i thought that would go good with my chucky like leave me alone like leave me alone and while chucky is staring at the door to scare everyone who comes in which trust me i've had friends come over and it freaks them out like i had my friend got high one time and he honestly thought the Chucky doll was alive because I like I think I turned its head when it wasn't looking and it freaked him out like it was funny as hell. But yeah, everyone gets freaked out when they see this doll. That's why I want to get another one so I can have one here, one here. And then when they sit here, they're just like, uh, <laughs> Josh. Uh, obviously the good guy hat. I do want to get all the accessories for the good guy. I just haven't yet. Uh, so we have the good guy hat. Uh, we got this good, good guy pillow, which unfortunately his freaking eye came off. I don't know where the hell that happened. Uh, the little stuff, uh, and then this is, uh, I got this from, um, I'll have his name, my down below, uh, which I got from the same person, freaking amazing work. Alright, uh, so, I actually just redid this, all these figures used to be right there, but I moved them, uh, all up here and kind of organized them. Yeah, these are my two titles, I had another one, I don't know where it's at. Uh, yeah, and then I have these string of lights, unfortunately they're going out, I've had them for about a year and a half, so, like, I'm surprised they're going out. I've had maybe two years and they're go going out, but they, they still look cool. Lights, which is controlled by this little thing right here. So on my phone, I can actually turn these on and off. I use them in some videos. Uh, I know Nightmare has his on, on his wall, but I just kind of have mine over this table because it's just a white wicker table. And I was like, what can I do with this blanket besides put it on the wall? Because I don't really have any space for it. So I was like, why not on the table? Um, so on the table, I have these two pumpkin things that I got. This around Halloween because I love the smell of uh, pumpkin aroma and uh, I just I, I was like buying candles left and right uh, and then this is one of these things it's not I don't really think it's working I'm not really sure uh, this is a fake phone I don't know if it's on okay thank God it's not because I hate when it shocks me but that's a fake phone so I could tell them tell someone like hey can't get my phone and then zap yeah I'm I'm so funny aren't I. Uh, a bunch of freaking books, mostly Game Informer, some Sports Illustrated, just stuff. I don't know if people want to read them, they can't. I mean, they're never going to get read, so why not just have them here, you know? And, and I just, I literally just put these here like an hour ago because I found them. And, you know, just some comics and stuff, you know, Zoomies and Machine Gun Kelly, Game Informer, and, you know, the, the, the scoop. Uh, some more stuff that I got from Fight Loot Crate. Uh, I... Again, didn't really know. I, I was going to give these away to fans, I think. And I just haven't done it. So, I just kind of have them here. Um, and on the other side of that, when they sit down, is my PS2. It's not connected because I'm missing a wire. So, uh, this is kind of like a, you know. But this is going to be where, like, you know. Um, let's say the new consoles come out. I can put my PS4 over here. And my PS5 can be over there. And then when people come over, they can play off this TV. Which, uh, we got some Deadpool stuff here. I just kind of keep it here. What This is for my car. Whenever I put it on, I won this. On my second date with my girlfriend, I we went to Dave and Buster's and I won that and she took it from me. And then on our anniversary, uh, one of the presents is she gave it back to me. So I thought that was hilarious. Uh, Deadpool socks. I did, this fell off my book bag uh, that I take to work. Uh, this is one of those things that you plug in and it makes a rainbow on the ceiling. I used to keep it over on that plug, but I um, um into the Matrix. Uh, I was recommended to get this, so I saw it. I bought it. Uh, this is a I bought this around Halloween too because I had an idea to use this for my Bates family series for a, a horror scene uh, Or maybe like, you know, maybe take these things off and use it as like a lightsaber. So uh, I think it's pretty cool uh, I just saw it and it was one of those things where they were doing like an 80% sale and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it So I got it. Uh, a controller for my fog machine, which is currently outside It's been outside since the last time I used it like eight months ago and uh yeah, I really need to bring that inside because I was going to use it for vengeance, but I, uh, I, I haven't. I, it's going to be a scene outside, you know, whatever. Uh, these are three speakers. Um, taking up the light. I'm sorry. Uh, this is a, uh, speaker that my girlfriend gave me. It, like, lights up and everything when you turn it on. This is another speaker I have. Uh, and then this is just an axe thing that you put in the shower. It has a little thing, but I, I stopped using it for some reason. And then just, you know, old controllers that my friend gave me. They don't work anymore. The Star Wars Xbox One controllers and a box full of stuff. And then just random, like, stuff. Like a Pokemon pack and stuff that I got for my birthday. Some candles. Like, really nothing at all. Then. Uh, up here I have my Call of Duty Modern Warfare posters. Double-sided. But this is the side that I liked more. 
pretty cool. And then I have my Cam Crystal Lake up here. Uh, I didn't really know what to do with this. So I just put it up here. Uh, so yeah, I need to get something put up there. And this is just my closet. I'm not going to show you that. Cause, uh, right here we have cards. Uh, I bought all these like card hoarders and I started as you can see, but I kind of never finished. Uh, and I was going to put these because my friend, he like um, put his comic books. So he had a whole wall and it was just comic books. So I was like, you know what? I could do these but with cards and I just, I never really finished. Uh, but these are all the cards I want to do. My good guy cards, uh, you know, Pokemon. Uh, these are the other like kind of cards. Uh, they had like the, well, I got the Deadpool card. They had a uh, MCU one, and then they had a uh, Marvel one. So these are my DC ones. Friday the 13th, I saw these, and I was like, I had to have them. Cause, and they're actually pretty cool. Do you see these guys? Uh, the Cell Mat, uh, the Mall, uh, Spencer's. Marvel cards and Dragon Ball, because I'm a big Dragon Ball fan. I, so I bought these because my friend took me to like this card shop because he wanted to get this like Marvel game that has been like the most popular Marvel bo board game for the last like 10 years. You saw the Dragon Ball cards and he was like, bro, they do tournaments like every other week. And I was like, I'm gonna master this game and I'm gonna beat everyone and win whatever I win. That was two years ago, damn near, and I have not done it yet. <laughs> uh, this is a lamp that was on my desk. I don't know what to do with it, so it's just right there. Um, so yeah, this had like a bunch of candy in it and, went so, and it, it was like a champagne bottle. So I was like, oh, why don't I just put candy in it? And then when people come over, they can get some stuff. So Nightmare Crypt, Told me I should get some Oreo, um, Oreo candy canes. I think it was last year, and I never got them. And I got them finally, and uh, they were not. They, I did not like them, so they're just kind of here. Uh, will they ever get eaten? Yeah. And then these are just uh, my Blu-ray uh, steel book covers of uh, John Wick, Evil Dead, and then uh, John Wick Two. So th those are just temporary. A lot of stuff in this room is temporary because I move my room maybe once or twice a year. So, uh, this is probably not even going to be the same in like, you know, a month or two, you know, I'm always changing stuff around. And then I, obviously I cleaned it for this. So a lot of this stuff I just put last minute, you know what I mean? Again, let's go to the obvious YouTube setup, <laughs> the place where all the magic happens sexually. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so, uh, this is a TV. And I use it as a dual monitor, so when I live stream, my chat is right here. Because someone actually asked me, why are you always looking to the left? Or, or it would be your right, I believe. Um, and that's why, because I use this as a second monitor. Uh, I only really use it when I live stream. I don't have it on, really, unless I'm live streaming. And uh, if you want to look, these are all my games. Uh, I had to uninstall some because of storage. And um, because my computer just can't handle it. Uh, and I don't know why I have that VR game. I don't have the VR anymore. But that's all my stuff. I want to pause it and look at it. And then that's just a bunch of junk show. You don't have to see that. Oh, hi, Eminem. Fuck you, Eminem. Damn, like, you ain't gonna be like that, man. Uh, in my 2018 one, I went more into detail on what my PC is. This is just filled with junk. This is just my, uh... Some VHS tapes, uh, my PC games, which is still about the same. If you watch the, the only difference, I think, with the 2018 one is the Battlefront 2. I don't think I had that. Uh, my PC has some really cool stickers, though, on it, which uh, I actually have a mini fridge, but it's not in here, and I want to bring it in here and clean it up and put all these stickers on that. So, minus is a skating shop that my friend skates. Uh, check them out. Uh, it's freaking, I don't know. This came from, like, a cracker box thing. Deadpool 2, because, you know, I, I love Deadpool 2. This came from Halloween when I ordered from Chuka Choo Studios. Apple, uh, the Dragon Ball collab I was talking about, Primitive. Chucky sticker up. Uh, hi, I'm Chucky, wanna play? Love that. And he has a little crown, I freaking love it. And then uh, Beats, a little Beats sticker right there. Because uh, I used to listen, I used to use Beats. Uh, and I actually recently got some new speakers finally. I had the same ones for years and I finally got a new one. Um, a 1080p Logitech webcam, which I've had this, I've literally had this since like 2015, 2016. I really need to get a 4K camera or just a new one. Cause I got some uh, Turtle Beaches that I've had for years and they, they still work good. So I just kept them, you know, and then this is my uh, Snowball Ice. I've had this for like four years. I really need to get a new one, uh, the newer one or um, the uh, Yeti. So I need to get a new mic. So I, I need a new stuff um this i actually got on wish i got this for like 10 bucks and it works great so you know if you ever want one of these so i basically just have a random a lot of random stuff here 
Michael Jordan necklace, uh, Michael Jordan watch, uh, which I got from like a pawn shop. Uh, it's not a pawn shop. It's just like, like think of a, a more ghetto foot locker. And that's why I basically got this stuff from. Um, some Fortnite cards that I got for the hell of it. Um, just random stuff, uh, some rolling stuff. These are, uh, Mountain Dews from Japan and a Coca-Cola from Japan that I got from, um, FYE. Uh, I just kind of kept them because I guess, you know, they're, they're cool, whatever. Uh, my two vapes because, uh, I think like two years ago I, I started vaping and I just, I, I really wasn't into it. But, uh, I really like the design of, uh, this one. I balled out on this one. This one just, it looked so cool when I saw it. And obviously, you know, doing horror content, I was just like, yeah, yeah I like it, I like it. Uh, my Beats case, because I used to have Beats, all that stuff. I just keep headphones in there now. Uh, and then obviously, I am a big anime fan. So here's all my Dragon Ball stuff. So uh, most of this stuff came from Wish, the mall. So um, this is my uh, Blood of the Saiyans Goku looking all looking all tight. I, I wiped all these off like a few weeks ago, but that's all I got on them again. Uh, but yeah, here's my uh, Blood of the Saiyans limited edition. Uh, Looking pretty sweet. His hair is like a special, like gold. It's actual, like gold. It's freaking, it's dope, bro. Uh, this is from Wish. You can tell because his eyes are freaking crooked. But uh, the ball actually light will be used to lit up. But uh, you know, keeping it on for almost two years just uh, it goes away. Uh, a little mini Goku, which I got. Uh, because if you actually look at my collection on my old video, I only had like these three but now i have all these so you know i really bought it another goku that i got on wish his hair is really uh you know it's not looking too too hot uh this is goku black the evil goku with the pink hair and the scythe looking all ooh looking all ooh looking 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 nice right there uh and then we have broly oh god oh god oh god yes yes my girlfriend got me this on my birthday i was so happy a uh, little freezer lamp over there where the ball is supposed the lamp is actually supposed to be the little uh, thing that they shoot off except the plug for this is not a regular plug so you know how a plug is like it's just a thin little thing that you just plug in well this one is like a little circle instead of like just it being like thin super confusing and I never contacted them about it I don't know why I did not do that because it's always been like you know a year um, my uh, blue Vegeta, which Vegeta is my boy, as you will see as his collection. And then we have red Vegeta or Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, looking all, looking all snazzy over here. Ooh, you're looking like a pimp, boy. Uh, then we have uh, my wish Vegeta, very angry Vegeta, but you know, who cares? And then we have the comic book over there, looking all nice. And then we have um, a Dragon Ball and Krillin, just some you know knockoffs that I got. Knickknacks, and then we have uh, my margin Vegeta with a little Dragon Ball in his hand. So you know that's that's really nice. That's really nice. Looking all nice right here. Like, ooh. Uh, and then his extra head that he comes with my shot glass, uh, Dragon Ball shot glass, and then um, this little thing that used to light up a Vegeta, but uh, don't work no more. Don't work no more. Uh, up here we have a mask that I got sent by a fan. It's Playhouse underscore toys. So go follow him. He made a really amazing mask. Um, and then this little ghost that I got off a of Dollar General uh, around Halloween time. Was it this past? I think it was. Yeah, this past Halloween. I just, I was just like, you know what? It would look nice in my room. I got it. Um, down here we just have some patches. Kenny, uh, wrestling, wrestler, Spider-Man, obviously, and then Venom, and that's it. I just kind of threw him there. Oh, and then I forgot, uh, I want to decorate my desk a little bit, so I got, oh, yeah, and I also forgot this little, uh, Dragon Ball pendant right here. Uh, we have this Dragon Ball thing right here, Dragon Ball Super, Primitive, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah, um, my girlfriend got me these. I've always wanted Dragon Balls. Always, 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 always. It's so freaking amazing. They're basically kind of rubberish, but glass. It's weird, but uh, I love them. I love. Them. I thank you, thank you again, babe, for these. These were amazing. The freaking we see. I was like, I was so happy. Uh, and then the gold with the box, like yeah. And then right here is some more Halloween stuff that I got. 
So this is a little haunted house. Ooh, looking nice. I literally, there was like four different one of these. And I literally sat in the aisle for like 15 minutes trying to decide which one I wanted. And then I decided on this one. I think because of the two pumpkins, because I like the way that one looks. Because it kind of looks stupid. <laughs> That's why I bought it. Just because of that pumpkin. Because it looks so dumb. And I was just like, that is funny. Uh, little pumpkin things right here. I just, I love fall. Fall is my favorite holiday, just so you guys should know. Like, I don't just make Chucky and, and horror content just because I like horror. Fall is literally, October is my favorite month. Just the weather, the leaves, the, it's, it literally is the most calming time for me. Like, I wish it could be fall all year. I really do. Like, I love fall. So, like, I love pumpkins. I love Halloween. I love, like, I just love all of it, bro. Uh, my little ghost right here. Uh, I don't actually keep this on all the time. Uh, this is a little, like, it's a tombstone, but it's a, it's a, um, and you can, uh, make it go faster. You know, if you want it to go slow. So, uh, I, I haven't used it yet, but I do have something I do want to use it for. The Day of the Dead. Um, I saw it's a little tin can. I saw it, I was like, oh, that look, that would look so dope. And then this little tombstone that I got a few years ago and I found it. And I was like, oh, that would go great right there. Uh, some copying paper for my printer, which I haven't used for months. I actually thought about doing something where you guys could actually print stuff to my printer. And I almost did it. And then I was like, I don't know if that would be a good idea. And then uh, here's the thing for my Chucky costume up here. So, uh, you know, it's about 30 G's. The mask I actually have, it's over there, it's over there somewhere. Uh, and then my beanie. I'm wearing my um, Chucky beanie right now. My bride of Chucky beanie that my buddy Nick got me a long time ago. Uh, my Dragon Ball beanie. And then I have a Tokyo Ghoul beanie, which is that uh, poster right there. But I had it last night, but it, it kind of just disappeared. Um, but yeah, this is my Tokyo Ghoul uh, poster. Uh, this is my Attack on Titan. Uh, one of my friends from Canada got me this years ago, and it's just kind of been hanging on the wall ever since. This is my little comic book thing. I love the Incredible Hulk. I love this thing. When I saw it, I was like, oh god. And it keeps my comic books, which I haven't really read yet. So unfortunately, they all fell over, and the first two got crushed, but... I got some John Wick comics, Injustice, Deadpool, and I actually organized all of them. Yeah, I know it looks terrible, but... You know, bear with me. I, I just wanted to quickly get them all organized. So, you can kind of look into what comics I have. Uh, I really want some Deadpool ones. But, uh, unfortunately, I only got a few. But, yeah, bro. I got a bunch of comics. I, I, half of these I haven't even read yet. And I really need to take a day and just read them. Uh, so, yeah. Maybe one day I'll do some videos on just comics or something. When I, when I get those Chucky comics, definitely. So, down here is uh, here's one of my tripods. It's the original one. Sorry that it's dark, but yeah, this is one of my original tripods that I used. It was my first one. I used it from 2017 to 2019, so two years. And it kind of just broke down. The, you know, the legs broke. Um, it just wasn't... It's one of those things where it has a stupid screw on top, so you had to push the screw down to screw in your camera. It was just not... Uh, you know, it was like a $100 tripod. It was my first tripod. I was like, you know what, I'm going to ball out on it. So uh, I, I used my graduation money and I, I balled out on it. A $100 tripod and uh, it broke. <laughs> it, it broke like the little... It just... A lot of things broke on it and it's just... You know, I didn't really take as good care of it as I should. But, uh, you know, we, we live in land. You know what I mean? But uh, I could still use it. It's just not as effective as it used to be. But this is my camera now. Uh, my camera stopped uploading on my computer for some reason. And it just wasn't really, the quality seemed to be getting worse. It was, so I, I've been using my phone, which is what I'm using now, because I can shoot it in 4K. So I bought this little phone thing, and uh, this is also what I'm going to be using to record Vengeance. Vengeance was recorded on my camera, but now I'm going to be using it on my phone, because I can get it on my computer faster, better quality, all that shit. And I really want to, uh, I actually get a, a free upgrade on my phone, so uh, I can get a new iPhone, and that shoots in true 4K, so uh, Vengeance is about to be looking at this is the original vengeance doll and uh obviously he's not looking too good so uh you know i had to get a new one but uh yeah this is the original man one, one day one of you guys might have him i might give him away but uh that's my stunt doll for, for vengeance 3 for now um this is a fx star wars lightsaber my girlfriend got me this and uh, on my birthday two months ago, and this actually just came out when the new Star Wars movie came out like three months ago. So this was like new, new. And it was around like two, three hundred dollars. So like, she, I fucking love, I, I love my girl. 
So yeah, it, it just looks nice. And then I have this Goodwill one that I got. I might as well just keep this on so I can show you guys. So down here we have, uh, you know, the essentials. Uh, Superman, Gamola, cars that my aunt gave me a long time ago. The Green Goblin, Stun, you know, uh, Batman, uh, just, just, oh, and my, my prize collection, uh, the Eddie and Eddie cars, which, uh, I lost one when I was a kid and I was very upset about that. Oh my god. Then I have this little Venom thing here. I, I don't know why, I just, I wanted to do something with it. Up here is all my Star Wars stuff, you know, we got the Whoopi, uh, just here, I'll just show you because it's a lot, but this is all my Star Wars stuff. Uh, I recently bought some new Star Wars stuff, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. There's my Darth Maul back there, the little piggy bank of Darth Vader. And then a McDonald's box of Rise of Skywalker, which I, I hated that goddamn movie. It, it ruined the fucking trilogy for me, honestly. Ray Skywalker, my ass. This actually lights up. Uh, it does different colors when it's plugged into a USB, uh, so I need to get like a wireless USB. Uh, up here is my anime, so we got uh, the Armored Titan from Attack on Time. We got some mangas, which I haven't read. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul, the poster right there. Uh, a Vegeta thing, uh, sunglasses, uh, some air fresheners, which I got for some reason. The Attack on Time socks, which is actually my first one. Okay, we don't need you on anymore. Alright. Uh, here was all my Dragon Ball Pops. Uh, I think in the 2018 one, I only had a few. Now I have like a bunch. So, uh, over here we have uh, Majin Buu. This is uh, that figure right there. Just the box of it. As you can see. Uh, we got Goku Black. Master Roshi. My Gohan card. Super Saiyan Goku Exclusive glow in the dark which he does not which really makes me upset ultra instinct vegeta vegeta again bad man vegeta vegeta training future trunks and trunks and then i got a trunks card right there i got this little pin which did go on my jacket but it came off i'll show you my pins on there in a second some more dragon ball cards sock gloves that i got for some reason yeah, let me move it all the way for you guys so you can see. And then I, uh, when I went to go see the movie, uh, they had that, which I, I wish I would have kept the ticket, but you know. Up here is my, there's my uh, Avengers uh, Hulk, which I love. I debated buying it, but you know. Um, I got the Iron Spider-Man Golden and Dark Maul. Uh, I bought that like two months ago. That was the most recent Star Wars thing I bought. Uh, Iron Man ornament, Thanos, uh, Foxy the pirate, uh, Scary Terry, which uh, I actually bought the same day that I bought my uh, NECA Freddy Krueger, so I decided to buy the Freddy Krueger while I bought that, uh, which, uh, and then the Fallout Lone Wanderer, which I honestly don't know why I bought that, I just kind of bought it. Up here is all my boxes for my Dragon Ball statues, it's a... Uh, it's a lot, but I really love the artwork on there. They look, uh, they look sick. They, uh, they look, uh, they look amazing up there. My Borderlands. Uh, and then right here we have little Goku. Then we have an alien. Then we have Patrick. Don't know if I'm gonna keep these on here, but, uh. On the side here we have the, uh, Nightmare on M Street Freddy Krueger Savage World. It was on sale, so I bought it. Uh, I might get some more. Don't know yet. Uh, over here is the original Vengeance head, which my girlfriend decided to braid his hair. So I'm going to have to undo that whenever I start recording Vengeance. Uh, so yeah, this is the, the head. Yeah, here's my good guy box. And then uh, here is the um, uh, good guy doll, which I still have not opened this. I, I bought it and it's just been here. I meant to do a video unboxing. If you saw my good guy unboxing, then you know what type of unboxing I was going to do for this. But it was going to be different. It was going to um, be like a storyline type thing. Where it was going to continue the good guy storyline that I started. But I, but I want to finish Vengeance before I start this. So over here we have The Shining. That came off of a little book that I got. 
Uh, these are the Twilight Zone receipt box. I just gonna keep it there because I don't know what to do. And this was actually from a fan. Um, he sent me two of his books, which I still have to read. Sorry. <laughs> if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I still haven't read them. I swear I am. So there's the Shining book right here. Uh, when I was watching the Into Darkness documentary, which is, I'll show you that real quick so you know what I'm talking about. This right here. If you haven't seen it, this is a great ass documentary if you're a horror fan. It was like literally all about the 80s. And uh, it's about four hours long and it took me like a month to finish it, but I did and it was amazing. But uh, while I watched it, they were talking about all the, the, the best 80s movies. So what did I do? I wrote every single one that I haven't seen down. And uh, I'm planning on watching all of these and maybe even reacting to them on my Patreon. I already reacted to, um, uh, what did I react to? Candyman. So if you want to go on my Patreon and go watch that, you can. Right here I have this Nightmare on Elm Street for my pins, which I will show you by the uh, 13th pin thing that I put here just for... Uh, these are my 3D glasses, Jason's that I got from, uh, uh, it's a collection DVD, I'll show you when I show you my DVDs. A Michael Myers tattoo, which funny story about this, uh, at my job next door there's a Dollar Tree. And around Halloween they changed their, uh, you know, the little thing where they have the gumballs and everything and they had a tattoo thing. And I saw Michael Myers and I saw like Jason and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get that Michael Myers. So, months passed, months passed, I never did it, never did it. Randomly one day... I decided to do it, and and it was maybe about a month ago. And when I went and I uh, went to the Dollar Tree and I and I went and I was like, okay, I got some quarters, let's do it. There was one sticking out. Someone forgot to take theirs. I pulled it out, and it was the Michael Myers. And I was like, bro, that is the luckiest shit I've ever experienced in my life. Uh, here's my Freddy Krueger NECA. Uh, I had, I thought I had him out. See. Oh, my Freddy Krueger disappeared. I don't know if one of my friends hit it to mess with me or he fell in the garbage. But one day he randomly disappeared and I don't know where he is. And I just now realized that again. I don't know where my Freddy Krueger is. So I'm going to have to buy a whole new Freddy Krueger NECA because I don't know where this one is. Uh, then there's my little um, five star Freddy. Love him to death. And then my Michael Myers with the uh, pumpkin that turns on. When I first bought this, the pumpkin didn't turn on. And it really, really made me mad. But then it finally started working. So I was really happy about that. Then there's my uh, Trick or Treat Studios uh, card that I got. Over here is my Pennywise. Uh, over here is the Alien uh, cereal box. When I got the Trick or Treat Studios uh, I decided to get the alien one too, and I had the little toy over there by my TV, so I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, over here is some loot box stuff that I got. I didn't really know what to do with them, so I just put them here. They're like these little metal things. I mean, yeah, there you go. They're pretty, they're pretty cool. This one I like better because one is my favorite color blue and it just it looks really cool. God, that's some nice ass quality right there. Ooh. Uh, now right here is my Child's Play 2019 shelf. Yes. So of course I got the little movie thing. I bought this on eBay. Very lucky to get it. Uh, so over here we have the Child's Play. This little I got this on here too. It's a little poster that was in Japan. And I love like Japanese like stuff. So here's a good guy box. Let me, I'm so sorry guys about the lighting. I really need to get the lighting situation. On the other side is this. Freaking love it. Uh, air freshener from the Trick or Treat. I have all the Trick or Treat Studio stuff that was available except for the mask, which you can get on their website, but it's 75 bucks. And I just keep forgetting to get it. Uh, there's a little thing that came with the uh, DVD. Uh, I just kind of cut it out of the, uh, the, uh, there's like, the, there was plastic over it, and then that was, like, in the plastic, so I cut out the plastic. Uh, this is also something that came with it. I still need to buy a, um, a, uh, record player, which I keep forgetting to buy. I keep going to Walmart, and they always have a sale on it, but I keep forgetting to get it. And then here's the actual record itself. Again, you can go and watch, um, my, uh, unboxing of that. And then here's my ticket that I actually found the other day. It's not in very good shape, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not in good shape at all, but you know, it's, it's still there. 
I, I, I've seen it two days in a row, and I can't find the other one, so RIP that ticket. And then here's where the buddy pin was. It's on my jacket. Uh, I wasn't going to take it off, but I decided to. And uh, this is just a random Chucky knife that came with my, um, my Spencer's doll. They actually, uh, with that doll, you can actually go online and the knife actually has designs on it now. So that's crazy. And then this right here is the Vengeance of Chucky knife. I, I actually cleaned it off earlier because I used it for, um... A secret project and it had dirt on it so I wiped it and it wiped all, all of the blood from Vengeance episode 2 so now I gotta put that blood back on there for you know canon reasons so that's just great um up here is my Chucky shelf yeah uh, so right here we have uh, my Chucky headphones which is actually hanging right from this cup I didn't know what to do with them I, I use them every day at work but I stopped because I got a uh, I got a uh, these black web. Just bought these for 40 bucks at Walmart the other day because I was getting tired of using um my headphones at work. They're really cool. They they met, met, God dang it. Yeah, they're they're pretty freaking sweet. I would recommend them honestly. They don't have a lot of bass, but they're they're definitely good. And then wireless charger and then my camera that I've had since graduation, I got this as a graduation present. It's been my, I uh, used it for two years straight. Uh, my fight rags right here. I need to get some LEDs in here. Uh, my Chucky thing from that little uh, stuffed animal. My uh, Chucky Child's Play 2 Pop, FIA exclusive. Uh, the Hot Topic, uh, Chucky on a cart. Uh, my uh, Chucky Bride of Chucky. I still need to get the Tiffany one and then I don't know if I want to what I wa wanted to do originally was get the uh, the double pack and then get them separately But I might as well just get the Tiffany one and put them together uh, I don't have them out yet. I don't know why I just I never took them out yet. So uh, Here's the uh, Walmart exclusive Chucky uh, Child's Play 3 uh, and in the original Chucky I still need to get the seed of I think it's the the seed of Chucky and then the um, the Tiffany with blood on it, and then this one with the blood uh, blood on it. So I still have three pops I still need to get. Uh, here's my uh, original Chucky NECA with my uh, Chucky card. And then here's the actual like uh, three halves. Here's my wallet that I used for about a year. I got like gum on it or something, freaking mad. But yeah, this is my, uh, used it for about a year. Everyone always like, oh, is that Chucky? Oh my God. Uh, my Chucky socks, uh, my uh, NECA stuff. Now this actually has a story to it. So this, um, basically, this is my shoe from when I was a baby. And look at the symbols. What else has those symbols? What's that? A, ba a bat baseball hat. The only difference on this is this one doesn't have the hat, it has a star. But I thought that was crazy how I wore a shoe that basically had the good guy. I, I know it's like, it may look stupid and but like, I just saw that and I was like, wow, like, we got the Chucky Odd socks, which my socks came back, I just thought the pair it's supposed to be like this, but I can't make it stay. Uh, here's my child's place to pop. Yeah, yeah, looking, looking snazzy, right? And then obviously, here's my, uh, Mezco doll, looking all, looking all sexy. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get, oh, yeah. Uh, we got the ego box back there, and I have the other one right there. This one actually still has cereal in it. Here's my little five-star Chucky with the little voodoo knife, and I'm s surprised I still have this voodoo knife and this voodoo doll, because I've lost them so many times, but thankfully found them. I can't lose you. And then my two bride and joys. So my girlfriend got me these on my birthday, and they are amazing. So, uh, Child's Play 3 with the, uh... Ooh, yes, looking scary. Ooh, Tiffany over here. Yes. So that's that top shelf right there. If I can get the freaking. There we go. Looking, looking snazzy. Up here, obviously, got my Chucky cups. I uh, got friends at the end. Shot glass. If I can get the freaking. And then we got the uh, long glass. So I have three Chucky Cups. They do have like a little thing where you can get three shot glasses. So I'm probably going to get that and get the rest of the cups. Uh, there's my Tiffany box. There's my Child's Play poster. Which I was going to put on the wall. But I was going to put it up here. Uh, my boxes for all my nice door doll. Child's Play 3. 5 star. So 
So that's my uh, that's my Chucky shelves. On the on the I'm very proud of this side shelf. So these are my loot boxes. Inside the loot boxes, they have a little design, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take advantage of it. So over here, we got the jaws, and then we got this bad ass, whatever this is. Then over here, we got some more loot things that I put. And then over here, that's something like a bookmark. Uh, and then that. Uh, sunny family cult, which you still have to see. Some more. I just I just like how this whole shelf, and then this is what I like. Is that it? I, I made it like this, and then it blends in to this one. And then we got the fog right there. Just the fog. So that's that. Look at Snazzy. Uh, next is my Child's Play poster, which I got online. It's a very nice poster. It's very uh, highly detailed. Then down here we have... I'm pretty sure this was a fan-made poster. And I saw it at this replay and I was like, oh snap. If you're wondering what happened there, the poster used to be right there. And I think that sleeping on my pillow and rubbing against it every night just kind of did that. So that kind of sucks. I, I tried to go back and see if there was another one and there wasn't, so I'm just kind of stuck with this one. But I remember seeing this back in 2011 online around that time, so I'm happy that I got it. Uh, this is just a nightstand. Face and mask. Just manually. It actually came with my collector's, uh, the 5 to 13 that I was talking about, the collection DVD. Baby Yoda poster, of course. My boy. My baby. Uh, my bed, obviously. And then here, I want to show you guys my pins, so I'll just... There's my baby pin. God, Romeo, come on, right now, dog. Jesus. Here's my other one, which has my Dragon Ball stuff on it. Let's see if we can get those. Yes. I love this good one. <laughs> I just, I don't know why I bought that, honestly. I just. Rick and Morty, Ric Flair, Chow Chow, Dragon Balls, and my favorite show of all time, if you don't know what that is, Get yeah, Life, <sighs> over here, um, got this Stormtrooper, I actually messed it up, uh, but you know, I don't really care. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to look like that, but whatever. Uh, I got this at... I think it's... Yeah, I got a Blockbuster. And it's 11,000 out of 20,000. Very proud to own it. Love that game. Eat. Game. Where the fuck is this sleep? Oh, man. Eat. Game leap. Yeah, yeah. Uh, down below is my when I watched the Dollar General. They gave me this because Spider Verse came out on DVD, so I kind of coughed this box, which is a bunch of random animation.
and it's only there for I think a few seconds but you can actually see that Castlin made these robots or whatever but they were basically in the Child's Play 2019 movie so I thought that was cool um, gotcha then I haha <laughs> yeah I don't know just really cool and it's next to my stupid wheel um, just close summer clothes that's why it's all tight uh, over here is all my Chucky shirts. So we got, mm, so we got the uh, Vengeance of Chucky. Then we got the this one, y'all. Now I'll just show y'all. Glow in the dark. Vengeance. Vengeance. Another one. The I think this is the original because it has all the spot. Yeah, this is the original. In Vengeance one and two, and then this is the one that's going to be in three. There's a slight difference, but you know, won't be able to tell. And then the good guys one. I am missing two. I'm missing um, the ritual one where he's like laying in the circle like from Bride. And then I'm also missing the, um, the long sleeve with the good guy colors. I just had it like a few weeks ago, which disappeared. And then my flash poster, which was also my 2018 one. So I still got that. Still haven't hung that bitch up. Cat water, cat food. Bathroom, you don't need to see that. It's just bathroom. So, up here we have this amazing child's play, which I also got at the same place that I got that poster. Uh, I actually have a second one that my cousin gave me, which looks a lot better than this because he's going to have some wear and tear on it. But I, I left it at uh, his place, so uh, I gotta get that. Then I'll have two. Maybe I'll do a giveaway, who knows. Stranger Things I got from my Stranger Things DVD, which is also down here. And then Scream, which I got just because I really like that cover. I and I like Scream. Uh, the In Search of Darkness poster, because I did donate and I got signed by, you know, obviously, he didn't, I don't think he actually signed that, it's just a print, but still. Who okay, could cool have it? And then the original Toy Story thing. I don't know if this is where or something, but uh, it's there. I just kept it there, you know, it's nice. Yeah. And then my amazing Samsung Ultra HD 4K TV. Play Nightmare Crypt, of course. Chuck is a slappy, a classic. Right here from my loot crate, got this Vis Vomit bag, and the price of one admission will enable you to see The Devil Made Me Screw It, Scary Devil Girl 2. I don't know if it's actually a movie. Here's those, uh, it's a phone stand actually, but I keep my Chucky dollar that I got. I bought this for like a dollar on like eBay, I think. I thought it looked pretty cool. Yeah, like different kinds too. Like different horror icons. There's my little predator. I love my little predator. I mean, not predator, alien. Not, I just need predator. Crossbones, crossbones, crossbones. Uh, and then the Avengers coaster, which there's another stack over there. And when you put them all together, it makes a picture. So, employee of the month plaques for December and June. Hell yeah. Uh, some lace up MGK, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, one of my favorite freaking rappers, and then two cable things. I, I, I bought like the Marvel cards, and they both came with those, and I got the same ones. Uh, my car keys, a little, uh, easy on them, and little cold keys. Uh, Ninja Tales, I don't know where my Leonardo went. He just disappeared one day, too. A lot of shit likes to disappear in here. And then little pingy, pingy, pingy. Uh, and then these little soda cans that I got on my second date. I did not like them, but I kept them because I thought they were cool. And then my uh, PlayStation 4 controller stand from uh, officially from PlayStation. I need to buy another controller, so I have an excuse to have the second one. And then back to this is Walter 2009 Collector's Edition. Love this thing. It's freaking amazing. It has a game inside and all that. Okay, down here is my PlayStation. Now, I used to have more, I used to have like one other PS4 game, but I don't know what happened to it. But right now I just have Star Wars, Jedi Fallen Order, and Persona 5. I swear on my actual PlayStation, I have like 50 games, so. And then this is supposed to light up, but I never put batteries in it, so. I got like number one out, like I, like I got this like the day it came out. I just went to GameStop and they started selling it, so I got the first edition. Uh, primitive stickers on it. My Xbox One S, I used to have an original Xbox, but I gave it to my friend because I bought the S for my other friend. Got some pretty rose gold and uh, blue, royal blue. 
uh, Borderlands 3. Now, what's crazy is I bought this Claptrap a long, like, when Bo Borderlands 3 first came out, like, back in, what, November? And then, about a few weeks ago, I bought this, and I actually got the Claptrap, and I was like, oh my god, I got the Claptraps. Then I even got the little Borderlands thing right there. I, yeah, I'm a big Borderlands fan. So my games, uh, I have like 60 freaking games on my Xbox One, so this is, and I used to have more Xbox games, but I don't know what happened to them. I used to have like Attack on Titan and a few other ones. I was in my 2018 one. Uh, so Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Mortal Kombat 11, Borderlands 3, Dragon Ball Kakarot, uh, Destiny 2, uh, Dead Rising 4, Shadow of Mordor, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Anthem, which was like literally five bucks, and then uh, some Xbox 3 games. But I have like 60 other games on my Xbox, so. Um, down here is a John Wick pop. I love John Wick. It's one of my favorite action movies. Over here is my Incredible Hulk VHS's. Because I love the Incredible Hulk, like I said. So we got the original movie. Because um, I watched this movie a lot when I was a kid. And then the uh, cartoon, which I freaking... I really want to watch this again. Because, um... Catch Hawk on the internet at video.com. I, I love the Hulk, man. Hulk is like... I don't have as much Hulk stuff as I should have, but I have... Eh, I have a good amount. Alright, my favorite action series, John Wick. I got the Steel Books for John Wick 1 and 2. I, I was going to get 3 when it came out, but for some reason I didn't get it. And now they stopped selling them, so I gotta get it online. In Search of Darkness. Uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Eddie and Eddie. Fools. Par... Ed's something. It's actually funny because today was April Fool's. It's April 2nd now. Uh, another Ed and Eddie. I have other Ed and Eddie DVDs, but I don't know what they are. Season 1 of Robot Chicken. Star Wars of Clone Wars. These are just movies that I found. So I just put them here just to have something other than nerdy shit, you know? So I just had like Beauty Shop. This. I've, not, I've never even seen that. I've seen that. I've seen that. Not that. And then Jungle Book. Um, this is one of my prize collections. I got this at Half Price Bookstore like years ago, and it's just it's a very nice, like, collectible. Comes with a bunch of like cool collectible stuff. Stranger Things VHS thing. It's actually a Blu ray, but they, you know, advertise it as a. I got this. The day that I seen Child's Play 2019. I wish I had the video saved on my Instagram. I thought I saved them. I went to Target before I seen it. And I saw this. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cool. I don't know why like it didn't save on my Instagram. I, I swear I saved them. Uh, here's a Friday the 13th limited edition ultimate collection. Uh, which one did I get? I don't I, I got, yeah, this is the one where it came with the 3D glasses. And then I got 17,572 out of 50,000. And then here's the actual DVD for that. I still have to see them. Uh, here's my Chucky Glow in the Dark. It does not glow in the dark. Very disappointed. But you know, I, I bought it because I got the pop and I like the cover up for it. Uh, Bride of Chucky on VHS. I got this at Goodwill for a dollar. What a steal, right? And then the complete collection. God, all this shit is dusty. Um, yeah, I, I was gonna get the Blu-ray version of this, but you know, I already got like all the Blu-rays. I got the uh, see the Blu-ray of the uh, that one, and then I got a uh, Colt on Blu-ray. So I was like, why would I need to get this on Blu-ray? So I just bought the the original. It was cheaper. Got a lot of Child's Play. So we got Child's Play. This one has like the uh, the eyes move and everything. Uh, the only one I don't have is the birthday one. The one was like 25th birthday. But I got this one. Luckily, they had this at FYE. My cousin saw it. I was so freaking happy because I've always wanted it. And I am planning on doing a video where I go over all the special features. Like, which is the best Chucky DVD to buy. Stuff like that. And then we got a uh, Child's Play right there. The Blu-ray. I remember when I first bought this and did a video on it. That got so many views. And then, uh... Curse of Chucky, which I went to Myers, which is where I got my first Child's Play DVD. Went to Myers, they had this five bucks. I was like, that is so freaking lucky. I still haven't watched it though. Cult of Chucky, have my video, got this day one. Day one. 
day one. I wonder if they're gonna release another version of this. Probably not. They're, pro they're probably just gonna forget about it, honestly. Like, they're, they're, let's be real here. They're not, they're not gonna release another version of it. They already, like, forgot that movie exists. I remember when I first saw the cover art for this, like, the inside, and I was like, that's why it's so much better than that one, because the inside of it is so freaking... It's so, like, just detailed and all that. Uh, WrestleMania volume. I don't remember if the discs are actually in there, but uh, I think they are. Uh, these are all like years ago. I bought these back in like 2009, 10, 11 when I was big in the wrestling. The newest ones I got was this one. This was my first ever WWE uh, Edge. This was my first ever one. And it's still in good condition, like great condition, because I only watched it once. It's my first ever one. Uh, Jeff Hardy. My newest ones that I got was Kurt Angle and Ric Flair. I got these like maybe 10 months ago and I still haven't watched them. <laughs> um, my cousin gave me this one, Daniel Bryan, one of my favorite wrestlers. And which one is this? That's, uh, oh, uh, Triple H King. And uh, that, that is it guys. I think that's it. Wow. We're all the way done. Oh, and then uh, Call of Fates. I used to have a bunch of like posters on my wall that I customized and made myself back in the day, but uh, I got a I got a job in construction after I graduated and I was making about a hundred dollars a day, maybe more. So I was just balling, just buying like Dragon Ball stuff, Chucky stuff, because that's when my channel was popping back in 2017. That's when the Chucky stuff started popping off. And I got another job and then I, you know, was balling and you know that's when I bought my good guy doll in 2018, I think 2019. And then I have the job now while well, I'm making twice as much money, but I actually like slowed down because I had to make car payments and I had to start making payments on other stuff. So I had to slow down on buying stuff. And I'm actually like decided to to kind of slow down on buying stuff and to focus more on like getting a VR, uh, getting like a futon to replace this old thing and, uh, you know, get LED lights. I'm going to put LEDs like all around here. That's the plan is to get an LED strip all around there and then some behind my desk, some behind my TV. I want to actually get a glass case right here to put my Chucky doll in, but they're so freaking expensive. Uh, I want to get a new curved monitor. I want to get a VR headset. So there's, there's stuff that, you know, I want to start saving up to be able to, you know, stop buying little stuff and save up to get the big stuff. You know what I mean? So I will do another one of these, maybe 2021. Only if it's different enough. I will only do it if it's different enough. If it's about the same, I might do a video showing off the new stuff. This has been uh, Damn Dude Studios. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go to bed now because it's almost 6 a.m. Um, I love you all. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, here's to uh, the room tour of 2021. I will be doing a Chucky doll collection. So don't worry. I will be doing a Chucky doll collection on like showing like going more in the detail I, if you guys just want a separate chucky doll collection i will do that uh even though i kind of went into great detail here but you know obviously it's the difference between a room tour and chucky collection so i actually do want to show you guys my room when the lights are all turned off so these are all the lights except those kind of went out and then here's my little rainbow thing above my bed Ooh. Ooh, it's a party now. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Danger Studios. Wow. Oh. Yeah.